Hey folks, you know, I'm very fortunate that I, wa I worked last night, even though it was four to eight, I'm very fortunate that I got to do that. Because I didn't have to read up on Raw in the spoiler section until I got home. And you know what? It saved me having to watch Raw last night. Ugh. Where do I begin? Some people said there was only two or three good elements about it. Match-wise. Match-wise, Wyatt and Ambrose, Barrett and Ziggler. But then everything just goes to shit. Mostly the fact the reason that I stopped watching Raw was because of the damn authority. Why? Because I had seen the same song and dance over and over and over and over and over and over again. And last night's ending, I had seen over and over and over and over again. And you know, I'm currently watching, I'm taking a break from it right now, but I'm currently watching what Pat, the NES Punk, and Ian have to say on the CU podcast on YouTube about last week's Raw. I can only imagine what they're going to say about this week's. But this is stupid. Pure and simply stupid. I mean, I... Just, I know I did a video where I said, oh, well, this is why they're bringing them back. Yeah, I stick by what I said in there, but this is completely stupid. We all know that either next week or at the big reunion show, Ziggler, Ryback, and Rowan are going to get the jobs back. We know that. And it's going to be because of Sting or Cena or something's going to happen. Maybe they're going to capture Stephanie. Ryback's going to threaten to shell shock her. They get their jobs back, and maybe Ziggler gets his match with Triple H. I don't know. But still, it is just, it is just stupid. I mean... I, I get the fact that maybe someone backstage in the creative staff is saying, ooh, let's do an NWO corporation like angle where it's NWO style and, or corporate style, blah, 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 blah. It's like, come on, dudes. We've seen the same song and dance over and over and over again. It's stupid. We know what's going to happen. We know the authority was brought back, like I mentioned in the other video, at least for WrestleMania. That's where they were brought back, and then it's all said and done, the, out of here, the gods. Or at least they're out of power, for all I know. But this is stupid. The only thing that's going to happen probably before then that's going to probably get the fans to tune in or be happy about is maybe authority is going to be put on probation. Or put in a situation where they're in pro on probation and they can't really get back into full, they can't get off that probation unless they show they can be fair and unbiased. Or something like that. I don't know. It, it, to me, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. And then you... I mean, what sense does it make for the ending, too? I mean, isn't the stipulation at Survivor Series that if Team Cena won, the authority would be gone? It did nothing about the authority if they came back firing those that beat them. Nothing whatsoever. Unless they do an angle next week where they come back, where the three guys come back, and Stephanie and Triple H say, oh, we, we, want, we had to change your heart. We're going to give you second chances. And we just wanted to fire you for a week. So it would be like a punishment to a child, having something taken away from them, to teach them a lesson that you don't oppose us. You know, if that's going to happen, fine. At least, you, at least you have any authority to say, hey, we're bringing you back, giving you a second chance. But hey, let this be a lesson. Don't ever oppose what we say. If we tell you, Dolph, you got to go get the entire roster tonight in a match by yourself, it's what? It's best for business. I don't know. I don't know. It's just... To me, it's just crazy. And wh what is this all leading to, actually? That's the question. What is it all leading to? Besides Sting Triple H at Mania. What is, what is this all really leading to? What? I, 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 I don't understand it. What is it fucking leading to? What's the real purpose? 
is, is this going to be revealed as some kind of plot by Triple H to get back at Vince and the WWE for, for what happened almost 20 years ago in Madison Square Garden and, and him having to say goodbye to his friends, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall? Is, is that the reason? Is that going to be the reason? Or is it going to be probably one of the more obvious reasons that Triple H wants to be the WWE World Champion again? All I know is WWE, the creative writing sucks right now. I mean, it's like, it's kind of like with certain people. Certain people have something known as bipolar. It's like they're night and day. It's like when they're day, they're good. They're on par. When they're night, they're not. It's like, what is with the WWE? Are they stuck in the 80s? Is that it? When they, I mean, look at the Ascension. People are downing them. They're, 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 are downing them. The Ascension is getting fucking negatized, if you know what I mean. Because they're not being the Ascension they are in NXT. Instead, you have the Ascension being like, What the new Legion of Doom? What the new Demolition? What the fuck? And, and then you have the possibility that Adrian Neville, Pac, if you will, to a lot of indie fans. He's going to be brought in as, That's a, Here I come to save the day! Seriously? If you want a freaking superhero character, bring back Hurricane Helm! Shame on you, Christmas! All I know is that when the reunion show happens in two weeks, they better have something big planned for that, because if this was the start of the big angle going into Mania, sure as hell didn't feel like it. I mean, I don't know if maybe this is WWE's way of trying to get back to the fans saying, hey, this is what you wanted, isn't it? Is this what you wanted, right? Well, if it's not what you wanted, shut up. You know what I mean? You know, and, and this is what I feel is going to happen. It's just me. Maybe it's just me. This is my opinion of what's going to happen after Mania. You're going to have Triple H and Stephanie come out, maybe after Mania, after they're out of power again, maybe on a more permanent basis. And you're going to have them probably do some kind of work shoot where they say, hey, we only turn, we only be, we were only acting that way because that's what you wanted. Maybe now you understand that sometimes we act a certain way, A, because it's best for business. You know, if that's the case, if they come out and say, hey, we only acted like jerks and a-holes and all that because that's what you wanted instead of allowing us to be what we are outside of the ring and what we are in Stanford, Connecticut, and that's just regular people, people that run a company or help run a company. If they do that, then you know what? Maybe that might be a saving grace because at least we'll be like, at least I can see some fans going like, oh, okay, we get it. You were just acting like you were in Stanford. Whoopee! I don't know. WWE's got to really get their shit together this year. And you know what's even crazier, folks? The fact that they did this on a week when Impact Wrestling, TNA, is going through a re resurrection, a rebirth, tomorrow night on Destination America. Excuse me. A rebirth, a resurgence, tomorrow night on Destination America. We're going to have a whole freaking marathon from, be from the start of the day to nearly the end, to basically the end. They're going to have three or four hours dedicated to them on Saturdays. And yet, WWE decides that of all weeks to try to keep the fan base with them intact, they decide we're going to screw shit up and, oh, we're going to give the momentum to TNA. You know the WWE in the past, when WCW would have Thunder, or even have Nitro move to Tuesdays for a day or so, or it, they never would have done this shit. This is completely pathetic. It's pathetic. And what happens to that multi-million dollar lawsuit? When's that storyline going to kick in? You know, for Magic and Christian, when, when is that going to kick in? Huh? Where's Randy Orton? He's supposed to be back by now. I mean, I know he's got surgery. He has a, 
have my, some kind of minor surgery or something like that. When is he going to come back and be a thorn in their side? When is Sting, I, I mean, what are they, saving this all up for the reunion show? They're saving this all up for the reunion show because they can't get the NWO back fully together? I don't know anymore. I mean, I understand now why Jeff Shegel, the Schleg Daddy, cannot stand Raw that much anymore. And I can also understand why there's still tickets that are around $250 or less for WrestleMania still being sold. How do I know this? Because my job freaking works with Ticketmaster now. Oh, God. I, I don't know what to say anymore. WWE, get your shit together. Or else what happens this week could be your death nail. And what, hap and what could have happened back in the late 90s, despite them being on different nights and days, could happen now. WWE, Get your shit together. Wrestle Kingdom, GWF, Global Force, GFW, Global Force Wrestling, and New Japan just kicked your ass on Sunday. On Sunday, Saturday, whatever. They just kicked your ass with Wrestle Kingdom. And yet this is what you give people that still want to pay attention and still support you? When I talked about the fact that we watch you guys out of loyalty, it's true, we do. You know, it's true. We do stay, we still pay attention to you because of loyalty. That's what we do. But this is pathetic. There's a lot of us, including myself, that are going to tune into Impact tomorrow and watch that and probably be more enjoyed with that and more happy with that than we will with the shit you're giving us. WWE. Get your shit together. Get your act together. Get Kevin Dunn. Get any of those writers on Raw. Get them the fuck out of there. Bring in your NXT writers. Bring in Dusty Rhodes. People that actually have a damn respect and love for this business. Because they know what needs to be done. Get your shit together, WWE. Because if you don't, TNA, Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor, and G GFW are going to steal away your fan base. Even UFC is going to steal away your fan base, if not have been doing it for the past years now. And it's going to leave you with nothing. Get your shit together, WWE. Because me and anybody else watching this is telling you right now, if you're going to start the year off like this, you're going to lose your fan base right off the bat. And again, though, the only reason we stay with you and hope for the best is out of loyalty. But you know what? For a lot of us, that loyalty is wearing fucking then, get your shit together, WWE. You can do this. You have the potential. You've done good before. Start doing good on a regular basis. Anybody else watching this, let me know what you think and if you agree.